New York, it's Late Night with Conan O'Brien. <laughs> Tonight, NBC anchor Brian Williams, Jeremy Northam, five-year-old drummer Michael James II, and by Conan's firing his publicist, with Andy Richter and the Max Weinberg Seven. Now, here's your host, Conan. It's just because it's Friday, right? <laughs> That's the only reason. People don't care. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have, a, uh, we have an amazing show for you tonight. Not one that can match that. That's all right. There's a sedative under each of your seats. You may take it now. We got a great show for you people. We're going to have a, uh, a lot of fun tonight. We got some good guests. We're going to have a good time. And I'm starting off the show tonight with an international story that was in the news that I must share with you. You probably heard about this already, but ladies and gentlemen, big story today. Two cosmonauts returned to Earth after being on board the space station Mir for six months. Can you believe that? It's pretty cool. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, they, were, uh, they were quoted as saying, Mike Tyson, Marv Albert, and Christian Slater bit who? <laughs> ah, see, it's not so bad. And, and it's Friday. <laughs> We're just gonna, just gonna keep mentioning that throughout the show. Uh, next week, this is interesting. Next week, the Rolling Stones are holding a press conference under the Brooklyn Bridge to announce a new tour. That's right. Yeah, and uh, I don't know if you heard this, but yeah, Mick Jagger said, I'm really excited about it. I haven't been to Brooklyn since they put the bridge up. And I thought... <laughs> uh, this is interesting, uh, Vice President Gore, Vice President Gore is, yeah, there is something interesting uh, here. I see skepticism. Vice President Gore is refusing to tell the press where he's spending his two-week vacation. That's right, yeah. And uh, on the other hand, no one cares. It's not. True. And then last thing, last thing I'll mention before we get started, a, uh, a Pennsylvania guy, a man was sentenced to 15 years in prison for robbing a bank while dressed in drag. That happened, yeah. Which, yeah. Yeah, which, which means at least he'll get a few more years out of the outfit. Uh, when you think about it. Aim low, it better work, all right. Let's talk about tonight's program. Uh, we got a, a gentleman, very distinguished gentleman, been with us many times, always amusing, and tells us what the hell's going on. NBC News anchor, Brian Williams on the program. <sighs> from, the, uh, from the new movie, uh, Mimic, uh, the ladies like this guy, Jeremy Northam is on the program. I like him too, but not the way the ladies do. Let's keep that straight. And then we got a really, uh, really cool little kid. He's five years old, and uh, he's a drummer, and he's going to show us what he can do. Michael James II going to perform today. He's five. And already doing more than I ever will. And right now, a man feeling very threatened tonight, Max Weinberg. <laughs> and Max Weinberg 7, Max, how about you? 